As we know that a gate driver circuit have mainly two parts. This is a square wave generator. Instead, we can even use function generator. This is TLP250. This helps to isolate the function generator circuit or the pulse circuit from the high voltage side. Basically, it is an optocoupler. Both the circuits are not electrically connected, but they are connected by the help of light signals. These two, two terminals are for supplying the power and this is the for getting output of the gate pulse which is given to the gate terminal of the MOSFET or thyristor. I am using 12 volts power supply in the function generator circuit or square wave generator circuit. I attach to positive to positive and negative to negative. 12 to 24 volts supply is required for giving supply to the TLP250. So I have used here a full bridge rectifier circuit. The ground terminal is common for the output and giving supply in TLP250. So let's connect these wires. This is the ground pin. And this is the out this is the positive pin for giving the supply. And the remaining one is for getting the output. Positive terminal for getting the output. This purple one and negative terminal will be the same as we give the ground to the TLP250. Now I am using a buzzer because the output is higher voltage so I can't use LED. I could use it by uh, adding a register but I thought it would be better to use a buzzer which is capable of withstanding 12 to 12, uh, 15 volts and it gives a on and off sound means tit 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 sound which is a square pulse so gate driver circuit is now completed and we can use this output for driving any MOSFET or thyristor I am going to turn on the power and we will be seeing the sound let's check the circuit first I am separating those so no short circuit occurs this proves that we are getting a square wave from our gate driver circuit which is used to drive the MOSFET or thyristor by changing the values of capacitor, we can change the frequency even. Mm -hmm. 